Hey guys, so everybody asked me, how do you grow such dope moths? And I told myself, I should make a video on how I grow such dope moss. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys how to grow good moss, how to keep it alive, and how to keep it looking green and lush, you know, all that moss we all know and love. Moss for all. All right, so this is my 40 gallon vivarium. And as you can see, I do have a good amount of moss in here that's nice and green, and it's been living here for quite some time. So the first thing you wanna to do to grow good, healthy, lush moss is to get good moss. So repeat after me, get good moss. So what that means is go to a nice reputable source of moss. None of this dried moss in the bag at your supermarket. For me, I went to Etsy and got a B. Wichere strain of moss. Now the next thing you wanna do is place the moss in different sections of your tank. Some should be in shade, some should be out in the open, add some in crevices, this way you can see what's the best area for your moss to grow. For me, I realized that all the moss out here in the front that was exposed started to yellow out, but all the moss that was on this side of the aquarium and under these crevices is actually doing quite well. Now I do use distilled water in here daily with my handy little mister here. Link in the description. And I make sure to hit all this moss with distilled water. Now about once or twice a week, I do put some aquarium water in here for my freshwater fish tanks and do this as well. This way, a little bit of nutrients can be absorbed by the plants and the moss. I do have some yellow lacrimella dart frogs in here, so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. As for light, I'm just using these two fluorescent bulbs and they've been working quite well for me. For temperature, I keep my tank between 75 and 80 degrees. That keeps the plants and the frogs happy. And that's about it. Growing moss is actually not easy. You have to try a few things. You know, there's a few moss strains I tried here before I got one to actually do well. Uh, but if you do the things I mentioned, your success rate goes pretty high. I believe that if you try different areas of your tank, mist it regularly with distilled water and also a little bit of aquarium water that has a little bit of nutrients in it, does quite well to your plants. So until next time.